Welcome back friends, uh, I am Deepak More and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, how to choose the strike price expiry and uh, the premium actually and uh, this uh, video uh, I have put it in the uh, green uh, uh, zone that is called as uh, ready to trade section uh, and uh, I am assuming that you have already seen uh, the option basic section that is maroon color stripe videos and also you have seen damn risky uh, options section uh, which is red color there are 14 risks that uh, I have explained there and uh, I hope that you have seen these two videos and then now you are ready to trade and now you are watching this particular video uh, which will help you to uh, start trading okay now in this uh, video we are going to discuss about how you can choose the strike price and how you can choose the expiry and uh, eventually what our uh, how should we choose the premium as well okay uh, moving on now uh, as we have already spoken in our uh, basics videos there are seven parameters that are important when you want to open a trade uh, first one is like uh, uh, sorry six parameters first one is like contract type whether it is call sell uh, call buy put sell put buy uh, either of one of these either one of these four uh, contract we will have to open then there is an expiry date then there is a strike price then there is a premium there is a margin there is a lot so these are the six things that you will have to be really mindful of when you are trying to open a contract and I am not going to go into all the definitions of all these six things because we have already covered that in other videos so uh, we will move on so the first question that you need to ask yourself is what is the direction of the market Okay, what is the direction of the market? Now, if you are not able to understand whether the dark market is going to go, uh, is moving up or moving down, then I think so you should really wait for some more time until you get a very good signal. And normally when the market opens, uh, uh, normally around uh, say uh, 10 o'clock or 10, 12, 10, 10, you know, t around 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, wherever the market is, you actually try uh, get a clear signal what might happen and in spite of that even by choosing a proper direction uh, there is another video also in the strategy section how uh, we can understand where the market is uh, I have explained that in that video so you might get a very good idea about uh, um, how to uh, understand the market direction in that from that video so today we are not going to discuss about that how to understand just understand that uh, the market uh, in which direction it is right now if it is in um, uh, uh, if it is in uh, up market or down market your strategies should be based on that right up market meaning that the market is going up so you can either open a put sell contract or call by contract and if you are if the market is going down then you should actually you uh, open maybe uh, put buy or uh, call sell type of contract so uh, these are just suggestions again uh, you can play around with all the permutation and combinations uh, uh, little by little and that's how you are going to get the uh, knowledge uh, but just remember that uh, when you open the put buy type of contracts and if you put buy or call by type of contracts or buy type of contracts and if you have open if you have chosen the strike price which is out of out of the money out of the money then the premiums are going to go to zero so you are going to lose whatever premium you are paying if the strike price is out of the market okay so uh, and uh, when the when you have opened the sell type of contract that is call sell or put sell then you are going to get the premium and if the options are out of the money then you can actually keep all the money for yourself that is how the uh, options work right so uh, if we cannot judge the market you know on which direction it is uh, or uh, if you say chose uh, if the market is going up you already opened a contract assuming that the market is going up but the market started to go down then there is really no need to panic actually because what I am trying to tell you is that whenever you open a contract make sure that the expiry is almost uh, uh, a month away from today okay uh, so now if you are uh, in January right now so you should try to open a contract for February end February end if you are in December try to open the contract for January end so you get like around almost a month of trading and even if like today when you open the contract the market has uh, decided to choose the different direction you can actually afford to wait until the market again goes back 
in your uh, favor right and uh, as far as if your options are still in the in the uh, out of the money then uh, the premium is going to go to zero anyway so don't worry about that so that's why when i said in other videos that you get 70 percent of the times 75 percent of the times you get chance to win uh, that is this is the way that you can win actually okay we'll discuss more about the strategies uh, in the uh, different video uh, that is uh, uh, it is there in that basic strategy section and uh, uh, let's uh, move on here so but what expiry you should choose is really very important what expiry what strike price we should choose is what we'll be discussing today now what expiry now expiry which expiry we should choose is again it's really a personal decision uh, i i prefer that the expiry should be almost a month away right now if you are, it's uh, it's kind of trading behavior actually right and uh, if you are a, a guy who thinks that okay uh, uh, because every week there is a expiry every thursday uh, when the market ends there is a expiry uh, right, right now we have weekly options as well uh, yeah, like 10 years ago or 7 8 years ago it was only monthly options were available so it was more easy for us so i have that kind of mindset to trade maximum on the monthly options because there the volume is really more and volatility uh, sorry uh, liquidity is really more on those kind of volumes but uh, if you are a chooser uh, if you are a trader where uh, you can you are happy with one you know one week expiry that is also fine no problem so how you decide and how much profit you can take uh, uh, that's how it is decided so like say for example if you choose the expiry if you choose the options whose the expiry is one week then the option premium might be like say uh, 40 rupees or 50 rupees to start with okay uh, but uh, and then it will start to go to zero from 50 or so but within that one week if the market crashes or something then that 50 rupees can become 150 very quickly and then it, you'll become uh, you'll come in the problem uh, whereas on the long term contracts what happens is like if it is a one uh, one year uh, one uh, month contract then you can start the premium with say uh, 90 rupees or 100 rupees or 105 rupees or 110 rupees then at least you will get little uh, you know time to play around with that premium right for one year so uh, one month so it could be like from 100 it could go to 70 60 and from 60 it could go to 85 and then again it could go 55 and things like that but at least from 100 to 70 you can get a span of 30 rupees and you can uh, you know come out of the market after seven eight days right so it it is really very personal choice about how you can do so if you have a discipline if you have made a discipline that okay you should take maximum 30 rupees uh, profit whenever you do a trade then if you are when you open a trade and then if at that point of time if the premium is 30 rupees then you are assuming that you are going to get all 30 rupees premium right so which means that you want to wait until expiry until it becomes zero right so it is your choice again now uh, i prefer to take more further co contracts so that i get like 100 rupees or maybe more as a premium and then maybe uh, i can wait for 15 days or so so that the premium drops to 80 rupees or 85 rupees or maybe 70 75 rupees and i'm happy with 25 rupees and then i come out so there is no risk for us and if within that if the market falls or uh, goes up and it goes in the wrong direction which it happens all the time uh, then uh, we can afford to wait for another 15 days 20 days for the market to recover and then our uh, uh, premiums will also recover so uh, it all depends basically and uh, uh, so uh, we might have to go for the monthly contract just remember that because there are a lot of uh, uh, contracts are open on the monthly the liquidity is better for on the monthly contracts rather than weekly contracts okay now i have taken here example uh, in the next slide now if you see this now today is like 24th of uh, december and the expiry is on 26th of december now it is just two days to go now if you look at the premiums uh, i have marked it in the uh, uh, red color uh, rectangle you'll see that the premium is one one rupee 45 paise one rupee 50 paise two rupees 10 paise and things like that and 24 rupees actually on the uh, call side uh, it is like 1770 or you know very less premium now actually when i look at this premium it means that all the juice out of this lemon is already extracted there is hardly anything left for us 
to really make profit from okay so then uh, i wouldn't choose this 26 december as the expiry when we are we are only you know two days away from the expiry so this option chain has no value left in it right now to trade now in the next slide if you see now i have chosen the next month's uh, uh, expiry that is 30th uh, uh, jan 2020 expiry right now if you see that um, uh, uh, the red rectangles now i have like said that uh, for uh, 11850 uh, on the put side 11850 uh, i have like 51 rupees on 11,900, I have 61, 11,950, 67 rupees. On 12,000, it is 81 rupees. Okay. Now, these are the premiums where if I choose out of this strike price, then I can actually make maybe 30 rupees profit or so because it is more than that. The premium is more than that. So, there is always a chance that I can make 30 rupees. And uh, if we see that today is 24th of December and there are still 36 days to expiry because our expiry is going to be Jan 30 okay so we still have 36 days left and that's why that 81 rupees is there and on the call side also uh, I have like 96 rupees uh, and uh, 80, 66 rupees 56 rupees 40 rupees and all these are there and then next thing that I need to choose is that how many open contacts are there open interest we have seen in that uh, uh, option chain video why open interest is really very important for us so here I have seen that uh, uh, open interest for the put side 12,000 is 31 31,000 contacts are open and if we go to decide on the call side uh, for 21,500 there are 16,000 calls open so normally in my trading behavior now uh, I would actually choose maybe 12,000 as a strike price or uh, 12,500 as a strike price on the call side 12,000 on the puts now this this kind of decision it is really very personal decision and how far you want to sit away from the market is also uh, uh, important right some some traders might choose uh, to go for 11850 and uh, get only 51 rupees as a premium but they would be happy that uh, the probability of market going down to 850 in until expiry is very remote as compared to 12000 right now right now the market is trading at 12,244 which means that we are looking for 400 uh, points or 400 points drop in one month period it is a little unlikely it is possible it happens a lot of times but uh, the chances of that happening are really very less that's why some choose uh, some traders might choose to go for this uh, 12,800 11,850 strike price so how you choose what you choose is again based on your uh, own uh, uh, prerogative right it is based on your own opinion right now uh, how far uh, how uh, how far the risks are and how uh, uh, this uh, risk and reward ratio is this is where the risk and reward ratio comes in picture actually so if you are going as close to the uh, market trading at your risk increases and so your rewards increases and so on and so forth we have discussed this uh, in uh, uh, in our uh, basic uh, uh, options uh, uh, option chain uh, uh, video as well and uh, so where you want to sit how far you want to sit this is really a very 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 personal choice and uh, I cannot suggest anything or you shouldn't even take my opinion for that I'm talking to about myself I'm talking about me I'm saying that for me this is comfortable for you what is comfortable that you should choose Okay. I may be having little more uh, risk appetite because uh, I uh, I've been in the market for really long time and I understand that if the market drops here what happens what not happens but maybe your risk appetite and your understanding of market might not be uh, to my level or you might be having more better knowledge more better understanding of the market than I am so you might be in a position to take more risky trades based on your understanding which is okay which is fine as well uh, just remember one thing more uh, risk and more uh, uh, risk and reward it comes hand in hand right so 
and how many uh, lots you want to sell that uh, this decision also comes from uh, uh, how much your investment is right now right and uh, we have discussed in our basic uh, lectures as well like if you have 2 lakh uh, rupees as an investment i had taken an example that you can if you open a call sell kind of contract then you can open maybe two lots but if you open a bud put buy or call buy kind of contract you can open 26 lots the difference is too big from 2 lakhs to 26 lakhs but 2 lakh 2 lots the uh, risk is the minimum risk you cannot basically make very big losses here but in 26 lot if you open 26 lots you can make like profit maybe thousand percent profit you can make in one day it is quite possible it happens or you can lose everything in one day like a lot of people they choose like whenever uh, so if you are making some uh, you know assumptions of the market and trying to go and if you are playing really a big game here then the chances of losing big are really very high so uh, again friends i'm trying to tell you that please please uh, understand your risk appetite well before you decide to trade how many lots you want to trade in should be your you know very disciplined way then you can make very consistent good profits over a period of time we are not in hurry man uh, the market opens five days a week you are not in hurry to make money and uh, nothing is going to happen to you the market will be here market ups and downs are always there so why why we should make very big profits and very big take risks right we can just you know protect our capital take small consistent profit and you can earn really very good very uh, uh, good uh, money basically okay so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please subscribe this uh, channel uh, the indianoptions.com and i hope that this channel uh, you are getting to learn a lot of new things from this uh, video series and uh, i really hope that you become a very good options trader and uh, you also help your own uh, fellow friends uh, like i am doing uh, so please uh, pay it forward and uh, help all our friends and please subscribe to my channel so that you can get uh, uh, new videos intimation of new videos thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye